Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one only Great Dane, back with Fortnite, obviously. So, basically, if you guys are wondering why I didn't make a live stream or a video about this live stream today, it's mostly just because I didn't figure people would really want to play <laughs> Tilted Taxis, or at least not the way that I'm going to be doing it, because if you guys know about the punch cards or you're being a tryhard and trying to complete them all one of the best that you can, this one takes a while, so I did the calculations and just going from 100,000 to 250,000 is going to take you roughly about 4 hours of just playing the Tilted Taxis game mode. I suppose you could also do it in actual matches with like friends or something, or even with a second account in a bot lobby, but that would literally take you even longer because you have to get everyone into a vehicle and you're obviously not going to be in the vehicle the whole time, especially if people shoot at you. At least in this mode you can do it. There is a caveat however, so I'll load a new match here. Basically it only works if you die first and why that is I believe is because if you load into a normal match to complete the punch card you'll know you have to get in a vehicle first so when you start in a vehicle the game doesn't render you in a vehicle for some reason I don't know why but basically this is just gonna be some straight gameplay trying to complete the wheelman punch card <laughs> it's literally gonna be the entire stream until I complete it so I mean, if I run out of time, I'll definitely just complete it off stream, but again, it's literally just going to be straight this game mode for a few hours. Hello? Are you guys mega defaults? Yeah, I gotta die first. Let's see. That couldn't be any more inconvenient. But it'd just be easier if it did this. So you can get roughly 5,000 meters per match if you do this. Still gonna take a while though. So in order to do this strategy, you kill yourself, you get a passenger, and then you just drive around the entire match. And you literally just do this for like four hours straight. I mean, you could do it as any time I guess, but that's about how long it's going to take. been damaged by my own taxi.
so there's two strategies you can either go along the road because it's faster you can try to jump off of hills to get more distance another thing you can do is go straight for the rifts Obviously, you're not going to have a rift in every match, so... I'm pretty sure using the rifts get you more distance. Not 100% sure. So I didn't start near trees, so... I was going to say I already used all my mats, but I guess I have more now for some reason. You can just build up to it and you <laughs> go inside before the sweaty triards try to kill you and then you fly away. <laughs> There's usually not this many sweaty triards in a match, so you know, that's interesting. I wonder if I can hit that, not quite, so close, come on baby, I should be getting a lot of distance from this, So if you guys are wondering, you definitely don't want to deliver the passenger and able to do this, because if you're not driving with the passenger, you're not completing the punch card. Also, it, it doesn't matter if you die any time after, you just have to die at the start of the match. So one thing I dislike very much about this mode is the fact that <laughs> you can only listen to this wacky music they added for this specific game mode, even though Fortnite specifically added a radio feature. You'd think they would allow you to use it. It's generally best if you stay away from the other players just so they're not trying to murder you. Get a skeet skeet. They're on to me. I swear the physics in this game are so wonky sometimes.
Well, if you guys are wondering, you can obviously get more than 5,000 depending on the length of the match, but generally it's going to be about 5,000 per match. How long the match is is generally determined by how try hard people are trying to get coins. So if they're more focused on murdering you, then the match can last a very long time. this guy doing? Okay, so I think I probably got around 7,000 this match. I'll have to look at the punch card at the end of each match to see. get any XP from this mode so unless you're actually trying to complete the punch card. Well I actually think I might have got 10,000 that match but the match is like twice as long so again guys it's really just drive as much as you can during the match is the thing.
Also guys, this is a great mode to complete the ride share punch card. Kidney has that not enough to kill me. Well, time to drive around fruitlessly for ten minutes. Also, if you guys haven't tried this mode yet, it's definitely worth trying. It's honestly not even like playing Fortnite. again. Definitely say if you're doing this with friends you could probably have some fun. Looks like they already used the wrist.
Okay, let's see how many we've gotten this time. Six, so roughly six, seven thousand that much. Is getting the Hulk smashes with it to buy? Sorry, I have no idea what that questions what that question means. Um well, you could get the Hulk Smashers for free by <laughs> going through the free trial on PS or Xbox, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you could get it on PC without buying them. I'm not doing a giveaway if that's what you're asking. Are they worth it to buy? Oh, um... You know what, um, <laughs> well I could leave the match and I could show you. I think if you have the battle pass, I'd say it's worth it to buy for She-Hulk, because when you're actually transformed into She-Hulk, the gavel pickaxe just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Also, I think the, um, like the... Iron Man Hulkbuster version goes well with a few skins. <laughs> the Hulk no, one really. I'm not asking. I have bucks to buy them already. Okay. Um. Well, I'd say any robot skin goes well with the Hulk Smashers version. I know I personally enjoy the Hulk Smashers version, but if you're gonna use just the Hulk fists themselves, I'd say the only skins that really go good with it, if you don't buy skins straight from the shop, are the She-Hulk skin herself and the tree skin <laughs> from the holiday season. Otherwise, um, I. Again, unless you're really going to run She-Hulk a lot, or the Tree Guy, or you have a bunch of favorite robot skins that you run, I'd say it would be worth it then, but maybe not. Because from my personal experience using the Hulk Busters and the Hulk Fist themselves, they are a very unique pickaxe because they go straight on your hands. So, if, if you're looking to stand out from the rest of the people who don't have them, I definitely say it's cool because... Uh, let me see. So, you have your regular dual pickaxes here, and you'd be holding them and swinging. But the thing about the Hulkbusters is they have them, their own custom animation as well. I think the down smash is pretty cool. So, I think it can definitely be worth it. Again, if you're a Marvel fan, that would also help your case. I can't really think of any other reason. I think a good question is, are they worth 1,200 V-Bucks? I mean, I suppose they are like, very specific or <laughs> unique. Especially as a pickaxe, because again, they're going to be the only pickaxes that go on your hands and have their own animation. So. Can you show me what they look like? What's your epic? Oh, sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, you could. Um. Well, hello, Hidden. Thanks for joining the stream. Um. So my epic is. Doodly, but you can also search Doodly1 and it'll probably come up the same because that's the PS name it goes by. So, you can join my party once you've friended me, and I can actually show you in-game. I'd like to complete this match first if you don't mind waiting, though. Can you type it in chat, please? Sure thing. Give me one second. 
driving looks good in Fortnite. I don't mind waiting. Okay, thanks. Give me one. Also, <laughs> Hidden Master, um, if you haven't tried this mode yourself, this is basically like Gran Turismo in Fortnite. It's honestly not like playing Fortnite at all. So I don't know if you guys can hear the comments get spoken on screen, that's a new thing I've been trying, because there's the option to have the comments on screen, whereas I can see them easier, but there's also the option to have full screen while the comments are spoken to me, and then I just have the YouTube app the open. Um, well, hidden... The way I play Fortnite is through um, like a medium laptop. The <laughs> my most hurts I can get on. My epic is smooth hurts. Oh well, I'll try to add you after. But as I was saying, in, I play on <laughs> a laptop with like um around 78 hertz at max, so I can never get more than console quality regardless of what I'm playing, and it doesn't even hit 60 FPS all the time, so I'm honestly better off playing PS4. <laughs> so, I, I wouldn't say I'm like a god or anything at Fortnite, but I have been playing since Season 1, and I've been told I'm pretty good when I'm not lagging in creative 1v1s, so... It's funny though, because whenever I play with friends or something, I'll, I'll always never try hard enough if we're playing duos or squads and I'll play like an absolute potato and then they get triggered and then they try to 1v1 me and I'll absolutely <laughs> rug them and they'll just be so confused because I play like a god in creative. I play like an absolute potato in actual game modes. <laughs> I'd say, um, as long as you can get 30 frames you could try playing Fortnite, just, you know, to play Fortnite, but if you're really going try hard, you're going to want to have at least 100. I, I'll, I'll go try hard with 60 and I can manage decently, but I know I'll never... Combos and gameplay with the Hulk smashes, please, and you need to please okay. Oh uh, yeah, I can do that. I'll, sh I'll show you my best Hulk smashes combos. So it, it actually consider you pretty lucky if you're someone who buys only like battle pass because those are generally the only skins I have. I d only have like um six special skins and like two item shop skins. So pretty much all the skins I could draw off that go well with them are gonna be battle pass skins. So there's a good chance you'll have them if you play Fortnite regularly. So, like, <laughs> I've even considered, like, doing those combo videos before on my channel, but I, <laughs> I know there's already people that do that, and I didn't want to, like, take away their content or, like, compete with them, especially if that's only the thing that they do. I also want to build a higher end PC for work as well as gaming streaming. Oh yeah, I, I'd love to build a higher-end PC, but not everyone has the availability, so I just work with what I have. Um, when I first went into YouTube, like, you watch tutorial videos, and it's like how to get started with YouTube, and they always tell you just start with what you have, even if it's like a camcorder, just start with like vlogs or something. Because from what I've learned, and Hidden, you're a, you're a great YouTuber, um, like, I definitely enjoy watching your videos. Oh no, I can. <laughs> like just the main thing about YouTube is exposure the longer you have your content on YouTube oh boy <laughs> the longer you have your content on YouTube the more of a chance people will see it so the more videos and the longer that are on there the better your chances are so which is why I've dedicated myself to try to upload one video per day it, it actually gives me kind of a, a lot of stress but I, I definitely say it's worth it. You know what? I'll I have a list of videos 
that I plan to make on certain video games, I could actually add that to my list. Um, I'll see if I can... Actually, you know what? I'll give a shout-out to some of the other combo YouTubers. Because they have... Like, they buy actual Fortnite skins and stuff, so they're gonna be able to show off better combos than I can. But I, I'd have no problem doing simple combo videos. Of course, I'd need some suggestions. Obviously, the Hulkbusters could, could be in this stream, so I wouldn't even need to make a video on it. I can just show you on stream after this match, which is pretty close to finishing. So I'll add you, I'll invite you, and I'll show off some of my best when styles. I started YouTube with my phone and I'm still going with it. At the end of the day, you just gotta love what you do. Shout me out to please. Emoji happy tears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, Hidden Master, I'm glad to hear you're making progress. Oh, dear Lord. I'm glad to hear that you've, um, worked with what you've had. I definitely feel like most people, they feel like, um, it's even the same way in a relationship. They feel like they need to get a sick six pack or a million dollars to get a girlfriend or something. When all they really need is to use what they have and just be confident with that. And you're going to make a lot more progress. Because you can have some guy with fat stacks <laughs> who plays like a potato because he just doesn't care too much about the game, but someone who plays on 60 frames who tries really hard is always going to do better, you know what I'm saying? Also, a shout out to Rise Volts of Fun. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> I have no idea. Also, this stream is only going to go for about a few hours until I finish the punch card, but I w wouldn't have any problem showing you some combos with the Hulk Smashers. Also, one of the things that personally always bothered me about um, the introduction of copyrighted emotes is that you just really can't use them on stream or else it doesn't really make a lot of sense because you're just kind of boring without the music and you, you see pretty much everyone agrees with that though I have a like the four emotes that I just can't really use on stream because I don't want to get copyrighted but you know it's fine okay so I think I actually got about 10,000 meters this match I think whenever people in the comments, like, I have this blocker so people can't, like, try to shout themselves out and stuff. Do you have Instagram? I believe I do have an Instagram. The thing is, I never use it. I only really use Twitter. I have a Facebook I never use. Okay, so. Ooh. I think I got about... Roughly 8,000 that match. That's not too bad. I only need about 100,000 more. So let me, let me first find you in game. It's no problem if you don't have a mic also. Let me see. Your epic is... Prison Rise Volts. Okay. I have no idea if the capitals matter, so. Fizz. <laughs> Fizzun. Rise. Volts. Also, thank you for uh, joining the stream. Um, what do you mean not found? Have a good day, bro. I'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in, Hidden. That means a lot. Yeah, maybe I... Maybe did I spell it wrong? Fuzz... Uh, let's see if I got that right. Fuzzan... Rise Volts. 
It's, I mean, I think I got it right. I gave you a request. Oh, you did? I'm, I'm wondering if it showed up, um, did you friend Doodly or Doodly1? Let me, let me try <laughs> with the capital, I have no idea. Hmm. Doodly one. Yeah, I mean, uh, Are you on PS4? Checking my friends list. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can host custom matches. Maybe I can do that. Try putting in the custom... Oh, Xbox? Uh, try putting in the custom key... Sus. I, I don't know if that does anything. I'm not sure if I have to join the match. I've never used custom matches before. I'm sure I can figure this out eventually. It's weird because usually your name would just come up, right? I don't know if it has anything to do with the Xbox, like, PS thing. Can Xbox players play with PS1? Or <laughs> 4? I, I still can't remember if they made that change. Type all your epic in the chat. Okay. Yeah, you might want to try Doodali if you've tried Doodali one. That might be why, because it runs through my regular Epic account. Doodali. So there's Doodali <laughs> and Doodali one. Both renders this account. I think the thing about Doodali one though is that it only renders as my PS4 username rather than my Epic. So just try Doodali without the one, and it'll probably come up. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. It might it might actually be because your name is in all caps. I I don't know. Or at least it shows up yes. as in. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because it shows in all caps. I don't know. Okay, so how how long has it been since you started this game? <laughs> Like, what season did you start in? So we have the Hulk version of the Hulk Smashers, Last and then... Christmas. Oh yeah, so you probably have, like, the Jonesy skin, that might help with your combos. And then you have the Hulk Smashers version, or Hulk Busters. So, the ones that I personally think go good with the Hulk Green version of it are... Lieutenant Evergreen and the She-Hulk herself if I can find it. I don't know what rarity She-Hulk is. Epic, I think.
Oh wait, no, it'd be, uh, yeah, I forgot Marvel has its own rarity. So you'd probably want to use default or the, uh, I don't know if you know about the foil versions of the skins you can get by getting over level 100. They also turn her into the green hulk. Let me see if I can show you. So the Hulk Buster Fists are going to look really good as she is the actual She-Hulk. So they're just going to match the skin, so that's obviously a really good one. I would I would stay away from the Crimson style though, because green fists on red just doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, you could if you're trolling, but it wouldn't, like, you'd just trigger people, I feel like. Wanna do gameplay so you can show me? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on the Hulk skin, because, you know, that actually makes sense. Um... The thing that always personally bothered me, though, is that, like, the scales of justice and her actual... Hammers of Justice don't go with the Hulk really at all, so... What the heck? This one, do you need to download content? Okay, well... I mean, we can keep loading in and backing out if you want. Unless you can, like, imagine. I think the thing you really want to see, though, is the animation on them, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I have no clue why there's a content <laughs> download. I don't suppose I've played creative on PS4 in really, like, months. So. Oh, yeah, you do have uh, Shield. <laughs> so, yeah, they'd be really good for Shield. <laughs> Also the foiled versions, which are silver, gold, and this like rainbowy version, which is pretty cool. Cause she stays green for the regular part of her, and then she has <laughs> the colored versions. I have that wacky emo. I use it with my shark skin. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I just have to wait here. I really don't know what else to do. It would really help me personally, I've been trying to get more subscribers, what I really want to do is I made this one map in Fortnite. It's it's a Zone Wars map that was made intentionally to be the worst Zone Wars map ever created, and everyone agrees it is awful. I mean, some like it, but you know, it's purposely not skill based How do really. You get gold, silver and rainbow style? Okay, so Obviously, you know, you can get to level 100 throughout the season, but you can also level up past 100. So, you're probably wondering why I'm trying to complete the whole Wheelman punch card thing. So, I don't play Fortnite, like, for 24 hours a day, because I just don't have the time. So, playing bot lobbies is obviously going to get you the most XP, but not everyone has a second device that they can play with themselves on a second account with. So, the second best thing you can do is try to complete punch cards. But obviously, again, bot lobbies, in turn, makes it easier to complete punch yes. cards. <laughs> yeah. So, you get over 100, the max level you can hit this season to get all of the styles, which is Rainbow Wolverine, is 220. So, literally, all you need to do to get the styles is just level up. Like, you'll just get them when you get them, you know? Like, there's, there's no quests or anything you have to complete, like, for the regular Hulk and stuff. Like, you have to, like, um, visit her office. You don't have to do any of that for these. You just get them. So, <laughs> you just have to play a lot, I guess. Again, I can't play that much, so I play bot lobbies and I try to complete the punch cards. I mean, I think I can hit 220 this season. I am not sure. I've been able to max out every, um, Enlightened skin so far, except for... The golden banana, because everyone agrees that one was pretty much just pay to have. So, the shade of green from shield doesn't exactly match the <laughs> fists for this one. So, when you swing, you have right arm, and you have right left, then you have the <laughs> uppercut, and 
wombo combo on a down hit. So obviously these are the only pickaxes that are ever going to have this animation, so they're rare in that way. So, I mean, I, I don't think they're offering the... Hulk smashes the, are darker. Yeah, they're a bit darker. I don't know that they're offering the trial version anymore to get these now that they're in the shop, but um, you could have got these for free by playing through like, I don't know, it was like two or three hours, I think, because I got them for free. You had to play through like the um, new Marvel Avengers game and complete the like beta quests or some nonsense. <laughs> so that took me a few hours. So you get this. So as you can imagine, the... <laughs> The Hulk um, Buster's version is the same animation, except it's a red and yellow pair of metal gauntlets that are going to look a lot better with any robot or red and yellow skin. So I don't know if you want to see any combos with those or not, but yeah, I, th I think it's pretty fun to use these. I mean, <laughs> you're just punching stuff instead of actually pickaxing it. It's pretty cool. Um, So... Yes, please. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll go back to the... Oh, I'll leave creative. And I'll show you what some of the good styles are for the Hulk Busters, because... I think you can imagine what these green versions would look like on the Sergeant Evergreen or Tree Jonesy, as some people call them. Okay, so... I've never actually had a request to do Shaw for styles before, so... I think I'm doing pretty okay. So, I think a good sell for the Hulkbusters would be... The light orange stage 5 <laughs> color reds on the Vendetta skin. This would look pretty, pretty solid. Are you doing great? Thanks. They could also go pretty well with Valor. She has the red outline so anything with a nice red I don't coat have skin. yeah so you're probably gonna have everything around uh, either ch the start of chapter 2 or chapter 1 season 10 right so Deadpool it doesn't really go with I don't think Aim, because it's a robot, you might be able to get away with that one. It has some red on it. Could look pretty okay. Nope, 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 nopeity, nope. I've personally used it with the um, Eternal Knight, I think just... Yeah, it was probably the Black Eternal Knight with the level on, because you'll see the super level for... Actually, dang it, I have to equip it. Okay, but... The you might have this one. What if about you, Chaos Agent? Chaos Agent. I don't have Chaos Agent, but I know what he looks like. So he's the guy with the wacky oozing head, right? Um, I don't necessarily know that a pair of metal gloves or <laughs> green Hulk fists would necessarily go too good with Chaos Agent. But that is an interesting thought. So you can imagine this version with the red Eternal Knight looks pretty decent. Yeah, so that's the Chaos Agent. So I'm trying to imagine them on his person. I, I don't think How it... How to complete Wheelman Challenge. Oh, the Wheelman. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Um, so the Wheelman Challenge isn't actually a challenge. It's a punch card. So in order to Watch complete, out, uh, give me one second. I just want to describe to this person how to complete the wheelman, since that is the whole point of the stream, I guess. So to complete the wheelman, the easiest way is to do the tilted taxis mode, and then you have to kill yourself because in order for the punch card to count, you have to realize this is an LTM. So in order to complete the card, you need to drive with a passenger. But for the game to render it, when you start a match, you need to get in a vehicle first. So in Tilted Taxis, you start in a vehicle. So the game doesn't render it as you being in a vehicle. So if you go back to a previous part of the stream, you'll see every time I start the match, I kill myself immediately. 
and then you want to pick up a passenger, do not deliver them. Just drive around the entire time. That is the fastest way you can complete the Wheelman Punch Card. I'd say it would take you roughly... Um, you, you can get about five to 10,000 meters per match, depending on how tryhard people are being. So it's going to take you roughly 50 to 80 matches, I think, in about maybe four hours, roughly, depending on a few factors, like how much you drive around in the match and how long the match lasts, but again, okay, just... Okay, okay, I understood. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no problem, because I found out from a Redditor when I was trying the first time that y you can't, it doesn't count unless you kill yourself first. Well, that's a cool skin. <laughs> I've seen that one. I don't know if the Hulkbusters would go good with that one. Let me show you Brutus. Um, let's see. Also, I didn't start buying the Bell Pass until Season 4, so I don't have anything before that to show you. Where's big ol' <laughs> thick boy Brutus? Um, gold, I don't know, man, it might look good with gold, right? Yeah, I could, I could see gold looking pretty solid with the Hulkbusters. Because, you know, it's got that gold red look to it. Me wreck my epic name, perfect one zero zero. Yeah, of course, it'd actually be perfect because uh, if you wanted to play with us in trios, that since, you know, again, trying to complete the punch card, there's, it was duos when I was doing it. Um, make sure that when you're asking me to friend request you, I just realized that it has to be, like, it's specific to all caps. So you have an all caps underscore 100. Okay, perfect. Underscore 100. You want to oh. do trios? Uh, well, it, it wouldn't be like, it'd be trios, uh, like, ride share. You guys could try to complete it with me. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, so I got you in. So, uh, Fizz and Rise Volt, is there anything else? Like, I can keep showing you more styles, but is there any other skins you want to ask specifically? I made you leader. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, I, if you guys want to, I can show you how to complete the punch card in game. I mean, it's not ridiculously hard, but there's a few steps you have to follow. One of them obviously being you have to kill yourself in order for the game to render the punch Thank card. Thank you so much, I am subscribing right now, MOG Wink. <laughs> no problem. Again, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the subscribers, so you MD guys are thanks. helping. Can you helping, do right? combo videos, please? Yeah, um, I, I'd, like, <laughs> I'd like to start doing some combos video. I'd obviously have to think of some skins first. Um, I think the ones I could start out with are Frostbite. Um, Molten Omen, Shadow Arc, like, because I have these, um, rare skins sent from viewers to me. I, I've already done a video on Tart Tycoon, actually, I think that was the first outfit video I technically did. You can go back and look at it if you want. So I said, the tar like, the title is the Tycoon outfit's finally out, and I showed off my best style with it. So one of my all-time favorite back blings in Fortnite. You could also get the shield, but one of my all-time favorite favorited is the banner cape. And the reason for that is the banner cape can use any single banner that you have. So let me try to show you a good example. Because I'm pretty sure Brutus himself is a banner, right? So... If I can find him... Or at least something like it. Because he, like, um... It, there's just a lot you can do with the banner cape. Like, you can put the, um... Hulk... Style. You can... <laughs> make it green and then... Or purple, and it goes great with the Hulk skin. I swear he just had his own... Banner. I might be wrong. Where are you from? Oh, I'm a... <laughs> Head on the right. I'm from the United States. I, I don't know if that's not descript enough. I don't generally try to give out my location or anything, because, you know, privacy reason. 
Am I just really blind? Because I... From India. Oh. I, uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I don't know. For some reason, I just usually figure everyone is like, uh, you know, from the United States. Is but on the right? Bro, I'm looking on the right. Am I, am I dank? I, I think it's this one, right? Like, is it? Am I, am I, <laughs> am I going insane here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go really slow. Yes. Am I actually missing him? Like, wait. Let me let me try this one because I think this is the one, right? It's not actually Brutus's face. It's the skull one, right? It was that one on the right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'm actually losing my mind trying to find a literal picture of Brutus's face, and it doesn't exist. Okay. So what you can do with the banner cape is you can customize it to any style. See, like. Again, it's never going to be like a perfect match. Um, this is more of a dark blue, right? So it might go better if we. Since try this when you are playing. Um, if you want to find me in game, like I pretty much play any time there's free time that I have. I'm not on all the time, and I don't generally play with other people just because I'm being a tryhard. I always try to like hit the max level in season, but I wouldn't have a problem playing with bot lobbies with anyone I'm friended with so again if I'm online try to invite me I might join I can't always promise I can use my mic as well but generally I will so again the one item I think everybody should have in game is the banner cape I also personally bought the branded <laughs> brawler because again there's just a Look lot you can move. there's a lot you can do with this skin I know I have that. It'd be introversal. They have those videos of like, um, these emotes go good with these. <laughs> with these skins, brother. You can trigger a lot of people when, when you kill people. Um, let me, let me show you one of my favorites. So I have... One of the things I wish they had in Fortnite is just unlimited presets, because I would make so many <laughs> flipping presets. I'd spend literal hours making a preset for every skin in game, because as you can see, these are my favorite styles for the these ten skins. Um, so yeah, this is my personal. This is the um, style I showed in the video for Tart Tycoon. So he's an apple. I put the pineapple. I think this blue color goes pretty wood, um, good with his holographic version. And then, like, I made a whole video describing all of my choices, but you know, it's pretty nice. Um, so, like I said, certain emotes look better with certain skins too. Because <laughs> my favorite things to do is just kill people and then do this as Chomp Senior. Just, it's so dank. Um, so, I don't know if, um, Yash Jag Tap, I don't know if you're still watching. Um, do you, did, if you are, do you want to join our party or? I think this skin is pretty cool. I think people that already had saved the world shouldn't have to pay again for something that includes save the world access to get it though. I think that's pretty dank. I'm pretty sure I have um the emotes muted. Okay, no I don't. <laughs> I should definitely turn that to you all just for copy why is that still playing? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I swear, it's, it, Fortnite is trying to get people banned, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, um... Like, I would've got Renegade, but... Yeah. <laughs> I would've got the Renegade emote, but I know it's copyrighted, so I just got this one instead. 
Cause this is one of the more uh, sa savage emotes for on stream. I think this emote personally goes really good with Calamity. It's got that western style to it. Plus it's got that nice spin effect on the um... And I wanna say cape. Um, I forgot the name of this that part of the outfit is it's like a overcoat I think anyway um <laughs> I, d I don't even know how much time I have to stream for so I should probably get back into the game if you're okay with it I'll, I'll try it I can't promise but I'll try to make some more um combination what videos in the future stick face when I do face palm emoji happy tears yeah I didn't notice that that is a little weird isn't it <laughs> also I um I know there's like a 10 second stream delay from what I'm actually doing and what actually happens in game. Yeah, that looks that looks really. What is up with his eye? <laughs> I think they're supposed to do an eye roll, but his eyes like invert into his head. That's so that's so weird. <laughs> oh my. Um. Let me just. His right eye. Shove back on the group. See, like, again, if they had more... Actually, I guess Old Woody goes pretty okay with Groot. <laughs> I'll just keep that on there, because why not? Again, that's a um, Save the World exclusive. So, I, I wish you could have infinite presets, because then again, I have to shove on all of these cosmetics. I mean, again, I guess it really doesn't matter, again, if you're just playing the game, but, you know... So yeah, um, I think the limited presets is how probably one of the get most. Save the world? Okay, so how do you get save the world? So to get save the world, so <laughs> I made a video on this a while ago. But something that bothered me for a very long time is that Fortnite said save the world would become free, and then like two after two years of waiting and not buying the game. They decided they wanted to quote unquote keep it a premium experience. Which basically just means they're never gonna release it for free. So if you wanna get Save the World for free, um you go to select game mode and you'll see Save the World is one of the options. You do have to purchase it, unfortunately. I got it for free through a weird <laughs> a very weird way where I um so I got the deep freeze bundle and then I sent it back because someone bought it for me and they gave the money to my account and then I bought it. So I technically got like two things for free. It was, it was pretty cool. And I was glad to finally try to save the world. I said I'd do a stream on it. I just haven't had time. Again, kind of like Tilted Taxi, save the world is really its own experience. And I definitely recommend you trying it because it, it's... um. If you've ever seen Call of Duty Zombies, it's kind of like that in a way where um, you have to make this built defense against what are basically zombies. It's it's a strategy defense game basically. Can you help me level up, please? Uh. <laughs> well, I can, but um, the thing is, when we're playing Tilted Taxis, you're not going to get a lot of level up. Uh, do you have you completed any of your wheelman punch card? Because you get fifteen thousand XP every time you get one of those slots on the punch card. So just from playing with me for a while, you could probably get roughly forty-five thousand XP. For if you play with me for like an hour and you do what I do, which should be about one level. Tilted Taxis only really gives you about five hundred XP, so I definitely don't recommend playing this if you want to level up. However, I do want to try to at least complete this on stream. I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, I get it. I just, who cares about the emotes right now, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but whatever. Also, the rocket back bling is very I interesting. I only have three, two, four, five points. 
Oh, okay, I'm sorry. The The way the game announced that was so confusing. So I don't know if you've gotten any punches on it yet, but I'll show you the strategy on how to complete it. So just basically do what I do, okay? So once we load into the match, don't drive at all. Just get out and either build up and jump off or grapple onto a tall thing and then kill yourself. Okay. Because you, yeah, okay. Because you need to, um... Like, the game's just not going to render it at first. And if you do all of... <laughs> if you start the game and you play for an entire match and you see you haven't gotten anything added to your punch card, you're probably going to be really triggered like I was when I first did it. And I only found out from a Redditor that you had to die first. Ooh, we got a tree, Jonesy. I'm Groog. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we got a fellow Groot here. Uh, <laughs> okay, so step number one. Wait for the <laughs> screen to load, obviously. So it starts playing My the wacky music. Uh, well, it, again, we're not trying to Enemy win, so we're not trying to win. So don't worry too much about the lag. So the first thing you want to do is get out of your car. And since we're near some tall trees, what you can do is instead of wasting your mass, you can just shoot up to the top of the tree and then just drop straight down. <laughs> and you'll die pretty much immediately. <laughs> okay, now what you want to do, now that you've died, so now the game is actually registering that you're in a taxi. So you'll see that there are these funny people with their hands up. So you have to drive somewhere onto the map and you need to pick someone up. Okay, so there's one over by you, I think. So drive over until you find a quote-unquote fair and pick them up. So once you find a fair, all you have to do is drive around the rest of the match. Also, I should warn you, if someone tries to blow up your vehicle, you'll lose the fair. And you don't have to die again if you do that. Just make sure you always have someone in your car after the initial time dying, if that makes sense. <laughs> I didn't even mean to kill him, he ran into my car. Ooh, that was a sick wheelie. So, once you get yeah. someone... Yeah, okay, so if you've got someone in your car, literally, I, I mean, you can just mess around. As long as you're driving around with someone in your car, it counts as meter driven with a passenger. Therefore, you're completing the wheelman punch card. So my original plan was to join a match, kill myself, and then drive around with a passenger for the rest of the match. You don't even have to worry about um, delivering the passenger, because again, you want to keep them in your car. So, the best thing you can do is either drive on the road because you go faster and you can cover more meters quicker, or you can go through rifts or drive off of mountains because you're trying to get as much meters driven as fast as you can. So what I like to do is, the first thing I like to do is I like to look to see if there are any rifts on the map. So, I know that the locations like the Panther Monument and the Doghouse have these rifts. So what I'll do is I'll try to build up to them. And I will drive into them. And then if your boost meter is full, if you hold the boost right when you go through, you'll see you can cover a lot of distance. And this can really help with completing your punch card, because Again, I do this the entire match, I get about five to 10,000, and even that is still gonna take like a few hours of playing. So there are a few things you can do to try to speed it up, but it is still gonna require a lot of Fortnite tilted taxi game time. <laughs> um, if you can get behind me, you can try to drive in for yourself. <laughs> So just hold the boost once you go through, and hopefully you'll get a lot of distance. A uh, word of advice, if you don't hold the boost right when you go through, you'll go straight down, and that doesn't really help you as much, so try to hold the boost and just go as far as you can. 
So as far as I'm aware, there's only two rifts on this map, or generally any map. So the two places you'll spawn rifts are here at the dog house, or here at the Panther Monument, and the dog house when you play a map in the circles over there. So the rifts can help. I mean, again, it's not going to do you a crazy amount because if you notice. You'll only be traveling about a few hundred meters, but you can do it quicker than just driving around. So uh, what I'll literally do is I'll drive up and down this road for the entire match. And just try to get as many meters as I can. And you'll know it's working because for you, since you've only gotten a few thousand meters, you should see a punch card pop up on your screen once you complete your second punch card if you haven't gotten your first already. So, I understand why people might think this is a bit boring, but this is really what it takes to complete the punch card. You literally just have to drive around every match for a, f a few hours. Obviously, it's better for me because I've already played quite a bit and I've completed all four before I even started the stream. And I have to get 150,000. I've already it's gotten about 50. To hear you because my sound is quite hard. Um, yeah, it probably doesn't help that this, um music is jamming. You can try turning off the music in your settings, that might help. In fact, I, I might do that. This music is kind of annoying. So you can just go to your settings and turn the music off. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get blown. <laughs> I might be able to survive if I drive far enough away. So you generally want to try to avoid dying. Also, I don't know if you're listening to me on stream or in-game, but if you're listening to me in-game, just try turning off your music, because I know that's quite loud. Also, this is... I'm, I'm very happy, because this is a lot more interaction I've had in a lot of my streams, so... If, if I really do make it big as a YouTube... A YouTuber one day, that would literally be my dream, so... <laughs> Red someone tried to almost blow you up, too. Um, so... Again, just follow the roads any way you want, or try to drive off of mountains and then boost. And really just get as much distance as you can. I don't know that there's really that much more I can say about it. I guess maybe I can say the best technique for going around corners is to hold drift. And you can get some nice distance. Um, also try to avoid being in water because that slows down your car. It's fine to go over water if you're boosting because you'll maintain speed though. Also if you're in thick water for too long your car will literally just sink and then you have to get a, a new, either a new taxi or a new fare or it'd honestly just be better off dying at that point. I left so I can't hear you okay. Oh. Um. Well. I, I don't know if you plan to continue playing Fortnite today or if you just want to watch the stream, but that is the strategy to complete the Wheelman punch card. So I wish you the best of luck in that if you do decide to do that. I'm trying to complete all the punch cards this season. I think I have a chance at doing it. It's only week two. I'd say I might already be about halfway there on some, most of them, at least. So I've been considering trying to stream Fortnite on PC, because people have been asking me if I can do like a weekly stream. I'd like to, but I, I'm quite busy sometimes, so I just don't know. Also, the quality on PC is even worse than the lowest quality I have on PS4 right now, as you can see in the stream. Like, it's decent enough to watch, but on PC it just lags. And the reason that is is because I value the quality of the game over the quality of the stream, because... The what question is... The strategy is, to do the taxi punt car? The, the strategy for the... I don't know if you're asking about um, the wheelman or the... Um, drive share. If you're talking about the drive share, you need to be in someone else's vehicle. You're probably going to be behind them. It's best to do it in tilted taxis. And you're just going to want to. The best thing you can do is get a tack shotgun, 
shoot the back of their car until it explodes, and then you should be able to get the uh, drive share punch card. If you, the best strategy to complete the wheel man is literally just what I'm showing you, the which punch is card. yeah. So the wheel man, the best strategy is just drive around the entire match with a passenger in your car because again this isn't even the way you're supposed to play the game mode but this is the best way to complete the match I'll show you how much I achieved from doing this by just you know playing the game like this so I, I believe I had 100 oh god I had 149,000 beforehand and again if anyone kills you you just want to make sure to pick up another passenger and just continue doing what you're doing it's not a big deal so luckily I spawned with some passengers right behind me. It doesn't matter how many stars they have or anything, you just need to have someone in your car. So I had 149,000, I should have 150 something after this match. And then I only need about 100,000 more and then I'll be able to complete the punch card. So unfortunately there is no like really quick way to do this, in fact this is the quickest way that I know to do this. So. Like, they had this punch card last season, and only a few people were able to complete it because they pretty much did nothing but the punch card, and they played a lot of their time. So, you know. I had to wreck that guy. <laughs> Sweet. I just completed one of my daily challenges. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I had to kill that guy because he was beaming on people with an RPG. So one of the best things I think you can do is maybe like hit up your favorite music and just play this for a few hours if you have time, like if you're really dedicated to Fortnite and you don't want to be bored the whole time, listening to music helps, I find. If you're doing it on PC, there's a few tips to make sure that it's that your music service isn't lagging your game, so Like, just turn off the, um, if you're using Spotify, I think there's, like, an advanced mode. You can just turn that off, and then it shouldn't lag your game as much. There's there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube Anyone about stuff. <laughs> I know, you, you told me. But if you do ever play PC, there's, like, an advanced filtering mode that you can turn off. For Xbox, unfortunately, it's the same as PS4. Um... Like, there's uh, plenty of videos on the best settings for PS4. So there are some pros who swear by Deuteranope as a way to increase your vision in-game. You definitely want to have motion blur off. You can have show frames that can help, I guess. So, you I didn't know why that was turned off, but you'll generally see I... S consoles are only ever really going to hit about 60 frames, and the PC I play on only ever gets about 60 as well. Mostly because my monitor is a, at max a 78 hertz monitor without like weird stutters and stuff so uh, thank you for tuning on to the stream for so long most people usually leave after about an hour or two in fact usually about a few minutes they just drop by and say hi because some people are just busy and stuff so what's your motion blur at? Um, motion, my motion blur? I would recommend having it off, because let me show you what it looks like when it's on. Like, you'll notice when I turn, just, um, you can, s the, the difference in the motion blur. A lot of people complain that motion blur is going to make them more like, like, you can see there's a lot more blur in between turns than when I have it off. There's also a chance it might lower your frames. So you'll see the game looks a lot smoother. Like, <laughs> yeah, your game will look a lot smoother. You definitely just don't want to have it turned on, especially if you're playing the game as a tryhard, because why would you want to make your game more blurry? It, like, I can understand if you want your game to look like super realistic and impressive, you might want to turn motion blur on. But if you're just playing the game to play the game, you definitely don't want to have it turned on. When you're playing on PC, you have way more, and I mean way more, settings to think about, so... On, on console, you really only ha ever have to worry about getting 60 frames, and it's never really going to go below 50, so... Uh, assuming you have a regular functioning console. So, the great thing about a console is you can just play the game and play the game, you don't have to worry about a lot of the settings stuff. For me, personally, I play on 
like 50% um, graphics because otherwise the game looks like a potato <laughs> and 50 is enough to get me to about 60 frames regularly so so I'll show off the punch card I'm just gonna take a quick break for about a minute or two I'll be right back so as of right now okay so yeah, so I was up at about 149,000. So I got about 7,000 meters that match. So I only need about 100,000 more. So I got, I got that much in about an hour. So yeah, about about maybe one or two hours I could probably finish this punch card. I think I might be able to stream that that long. It depends. So I'll be right back. Um, feel free to do whatever I guess, but you know whatever. BRB. Okay, I'm back. So I just got the storm wrap. It's animated, I think. It's apparently reactive as well. I imagine if you shoot it, it has some kind of storm effect. I don't know how to shoot it in the locker, but I imagine that's pretty cool. So I, if you are really wondering about like certain reactive styles and stuff, I know Tabor Hill is a really good YouTuber for that kind of stuff. Also, I don't know if um, you want to actually play any more matches with me or not, but I think you get the basic gist of what this entire stream is about, literally just playing tilted taxis and driving around. Okay, yeah, I, I mean you can stay in as long as you want. I'll probably be going for about another two hours on stream. Hello, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm back. Just had to do some stuff quick. Also, with school starting in about three days, it is going to be a little bit harder for me to especially stream in general, but make videos, because I have to take school as first priority, so... I, I just do what I can. I should be able to get regular 15 minute gameplay videos out though. Because again, 15 minutes isn't a crazy amount of time. The, the having the music off definitely makes it a lot more tranquil. Yeah, so what I usually do is I'll find the highest location near me and I'll build something, then I'll just jump off of it. 
if you can't find a tall enough tree. Because <laughs> again, the, the strategy is kill yourself as quickly as possible, get a passenger, just drive around. And then you're pretty much set for the entire match. As long as someone doesn't kill you or you accidentally blow up your vehicle. So yeah, the general trend of my Fortnite live streams or really most live streams in general just like chill grinding gameplay, so you can subscribe if you enjoy that kind of stuff. I don't usually like beg my um, viewers to subscribe or anything because I just want them to subscribe if they enjoy my content. God, that was a sick move. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter considering we're probably not gonna win. Somehow we're surprisingly almost in first. I mean, not everybody is a complete tryhard in this mode. Some other people are actually trying to complete the Wheelman Punch card as well, because as far as I'm aware, that's the only real reason to play this mode unless you actually just enjoy playing Tilted Taxis. So I'm probably just gonna swoop around this road a few times. So the doghouse is on the map, so there's the rift thing that you can do. You know, you just build up to a rift and drive around in that. It's pretty fun. Man, I'm getting some sick flips. The physics in this game are so crazy sometimes. I hear they're adding a new lighting engine to the game too that should make it look a bit more realistic at the cost of some frames, but people with really high-end PCs shouldn't have a problem with that. Obviously, I don't have a high-end PC, so I'm not going to be trying that, but it's interesting. So yeah, you generally want to make sure you're holding the circle button as you go into the rift. <laughs> this guy got tried again. Oh, I, I actually thought that was another team. I was confused because generally <laughs> our team is never in first, so or at least even close. You know, because I'm not trying to win or anything. So you always want to make sure you're holding the boost as you go into the rift if you try to do this because that's the way you're going to get the maximum amount of distance. Because if you don't hold circle as you're going into the rift, your car will flip down and then you won't be getting distance at all. I think really the most important part about doing this though is just to make sure you're having fun because the whole point of the game is to have fun so if you're not I don't know why you're playing you know. <laughs> Fireflies are so dank in this game. They're like three times worse than actual um flare gun shots.
I must say I'm surprised. You generally don't get people to honk back. So hopefully I can hit about 60,000 this match. Getting 10,000 is obviously going to make this a lot easier for match. Then I only have to play 10 matches rather than 20. And each match is about roughly 10 minutes, so... It's going to take like an hour or 30 just to get it with 10,000 per match. Bushman doesn't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I can honestly say I, I don't think I'm probably going to really play this game mode after I actually complete the punch card just because I'd rather complete the other ones and it's just you just don't get enough XP for it to be worth it in this mode. I'll generally just play bot lobbies because it's very easy to complete the challenges and the punch cards. Once I complete all that though I'd probably just play regular matches because you know how the game works. Plus you'd want to show off your level 220 stuff. I honestly have no idea if people watch these streams like afterwards. I'd be interested to know. <laughs> Did she kill the rocket guy? Probably the most fun thing to do in this mode is try to pull off some sick drifts. Oh my. So I think I at least got 5,000 that match. That's generally what I get, so. One thing I'm not sure about is whether or not it counts if you're flying off a mountain, if height counts as, like, falling counts as meters. I know driving obviously does. Hundred sixty-two. Yeah, so Be about... Right back okay. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, so about, about 5,000 roughly. I just play a quick match. They're only about ten minutes anyway. So I only need about ninety thousand more meters. Am I the longest person who's been on your stream? You know, honestly, I think you are. There's only been one other person, and that was like three years ago, because he was a friend in my school, so he had no problem watching the stream. I think he subscribed, but he probably hasn't had time to watch in a long time or something. Or maybe he's just not interested in Fortnite anymore. And I, I didn't start um, making a lot of videos until a few months ago, because I, I made a commitment, and I, I started thinking about what I wanted to do with my future and if I I can honestly secure this as a job that'd mean the world to me because this is honestly what I enjoy doing so like you know just like entertaining people having fun messing around it's the best oh <laughs> run me over <laughs> what you mean <laughs> oh, 
Well, I mean, that gets the job done, I suppose. Okay. So, you're the longest person I've had in the stream, probably e either in a while or just in a long time. I've never had someone stay for, uh, like, a full three hours. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. You know, it's actually funny. When I originally started making videos on YouTube, technically me watching on my tablet counts as one device, and I thought I had like this dedicated view or something, but it was actually just me the whole time. It, it, it's actually one of the things that kept me going though, which is interesting. I bet if I drive up... <laughs> and I just feel a little for... <laughs> I have no clue what's gonna happen. Oh boy. Oh... <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if people that are playing this are just like thirsty for kills or not. If you could honestly help me get more subs, that that would actually be amazing. I'm pretty sure my Instagram is literally doodly. If you're looking for me in any game, always just search doodly. Also, it's interesting. These people are kind of like ghosts. They only appear when you're in a taxi. Okay, you asked for it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you better run. So, my Instagram should just be doodly. I don't really use it, but... Again, you'd be doing me a huge favor. Um... I mean... I, I I just don't know because the thing is, I I'd appreciate having a lot of subs, but once I do have like a million subs or something, which obviously is asking a lot, but once I do have a million subs, it'll be kind of sad because I won't be able to interact with like certain people all the time. Like I'll have to pick and choose like this lucky subscriber gets to play with me today or something, and then uh, most people are just gonna feel left out, and it's sad that I can't just you know play with everyone or something. I mean, obviously there's games like um. Um, let me think. Like Fall Guys I or something? I have more because I have 500 zero zero followers, something like that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, if you're famous on Instagram, that's pretty cool. Um, well, there are, like, certain party games you can play with a lot of people, so I'd consider doing that. There's also the custom matchmaking key, so I'd, I've never set up a custom match, but if I got a bunch of people who wanted to play with me in a match, I think that'd be really cool with a custom match. I don't think you get XP from custom matches, but it could be fun. Also, another thing um, is that I never use my YouTube username in my actual in-game usernames because, again, I only want people to sub subscribe if they enjoy my content. I don't want to regularly. Um, I believe it is a Fortnite default guy with a llama. Uh, I'll, I'll join you right after this match finishes, but it should be uh, the season six Fortnite guy in a llama suit. It's it's one of my favorite skins just because of how dank it is, especially since they added the physics engine to the game. Um, like the way the because it's supposed to be an inflatable costume, the way it just bounces around is kind of hilarious. I can actually show you. I'll try to pull up my Instagram after this match and see how that works. Because again, I haven't used Instagram in forever, but I'm pretty sure I do have one. If not, I guess I'll just create one. I might be thinking of um, something else. Cause I feel like I used Instagram for something though. 
Because usually uh, some people have like these giveaways or if you sign up for a certain game with a certain account on a certain platform, they'll give you stuff. So I feel like I might have created an Instagram at some point. I just don't know. If it does exist, it'll be named Doodly and it'll probably have a picture of a uh, guy in a llama suit. So... I actually did something pretty crazy once on accident. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just follow you. I I don't even know what my Instagram is. I never use it. Um, I assume your Instagram is also your um, YouTube username as well. generally talk about it but I've considered um like going pro in Fortnite because I am pretty darn good at the game if I if I had more time to play I honestly think I could be up there with the pro players and I had like a better device to play with because uh, co console players channel. um Well, I'll look up your Instagram. Uh, I'm thinking right now, because I know you say you don't have a YouTube channel. Technically, you're viewing this on your YouTube channel, because everyone that can comment on a video has a YouTube channel. You probably just don't have any videos on it. Like, I could subscribe to you right now, because technically you have a channel. You just don't have any videos, probably. So after this match, I'll try to pull up my Instagram. I'll, I'll see if I can't follow you and see what's going on with that. Again, never really used Instagram, so it'll be interesting. Strike that stop sign. Can't hold back the jack. Okay, so hopefully I'm at about 70,000. Okay, so I'll, I'll look up your Instagram now. Road to 1000 followers on Instagram for me. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I suppose that would probably mean a lot to you as well. I have no problem following since I don't even really use Instagram, so. Let me pull up. Instagram. I don't even think I've ever searched for the term Instagram in my browser bar. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Um... My Instagram is Dudali, except it only has one E. Let me search your username. Tristan Volts. To surprise Volts. Okay, let me try that. Should 
should come up. Uh, I assume yours is the one with the um, Fortnite logo. Do you also have a second account? I followed you already. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw. I, I was like, follow as well. I was like, huh, would that mean that you already followed me? Um, yeah, I guess there's some people I didn't even know had Instagram accounts. Like, people that I know. I didn't know about. I have two accounts. Well, you do box fights? You made it to... I made it to... Um, the hardest I've ever two. gone was around... Like, I've made it to Champion League once, and then I never went back. Because, again, just... Being able to have enough time to play that much, and I know myself that I'd never, <laughs> even if, like, I started doing the tourneys, I have no confidence I'd actually be able to win just because I don't have enough time to play to be as good as the pro players who literally do nothing but play Fortnite. So, I, I think it's cool to actually be able to say that I've made it to champion, but, you know, n nothing I can really do much after that. Like, I, I'm pretty sure as long as you get in the champion, you can compete in all of the cups. I just don't do it, so... I, I might consider it one day, though, I don't know. Which account are you on? Uh, for Instagram? If you, on Fortnite, I, I'm either on Doodly or Doodly1 if you're looking for my Fortnite main account. I have, like, 14 Fortnite accounts for specific reasons. Um, my... For my Instagram, I only have the one, and it's just Doodly with one E. So, did you want to play creative, I'm or... Account. Oh, I'm on your, um, your, um, first account. Right now. Um, so I don't know if you want to keep <laughs> doing tilted taxis. I'd like to at least try to finish this. Yes, yeah, so we just barely <laughs> didn't hit Look 170. Look how many followers I have. Yeah, you have uh, five, 500. That's a lot. I mean, like, some people with, like, a million followers on they'll probably just look at that and, like, sniff or something, but it, how I think of it is always just think of however many people are subscribed or following you and think of putting all those people in a room. That's a... Like, I'm even so happy just to be able to say I have over 50 subscribers. I mean, like, it, it's pretty crazy. I, I can honestly say I'm probably the most famous person in my family, like... It's it's just crazy things to think about. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's get back into the game, I suppose. I I don't know exactly how the shouting out thing works on Instagram. If you want to, you'd be doing me a huge favor, but obviously you don't have to. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just get back into the game and see if I can complete this. I think I have about another hour or two to stream which should be just enough to finish this card and then I'll have to go do other stuff like it's not necessarily that I have to go be busy for the rest of the day it's just that I don't have like background noises are just helping the fam you know hello I will shout you out I followed you too <laughs> thanks for the uh, help it means a lot Oh, right, I forgot to mention, uh, in the event that I hit, um, 100 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a, um, 200 V-Buck giveaway. So, since you're subscribed, I assume you'd have a chance to win that. 
Um, so what I'd do is I'd use one of those random, uh, like, Fortnite subscriber pickers, and then whoever wins it, I'd ask them what emote they want, and hopefully if it's one that comes in shop, I can get it for them. If not, if they okay. just say... If they say they'll take any emote, I'll just get them whatever, and that would obviously help me out a lot, but... I did offer a, um, like, uncommon emote giveaway at 100 subs. I also take suggestions for, um, any, like, games people want to see, or really anything that's as long as it's appropriate. Yeah, so, like, on a map like this, you don't have the, um, rifts to drive through, so usually you can either just drive off of hills or just stay on the road the entire time. I think the most views I've probably ever gotten on a video is about two to three thousand. Everyone kinda likes Fall Guys at the moment. Yeah, no, I was, I was definitely thinking about Fall Guys, because... I don't think anyone can honestly go onto YouTube and not find a stream of Fall Guys just always going on or something. I don't know that I can necessarily afford to buy Fall Guys is the thing, because if you'll notice, the majority of my videos are... In fact, the most viewed video on my channel, I think, is how to get Exploding Kittens for free, because I know that not everyone can afford games and stuff, so... If I can help people out, that means a lot to me. So this uh, that was when I first learned about like APKs and stuff, and I like I was my first time playing actually being able to play Minecraft because like we just didn't have money to buy Minecraft and eat, like mobile Minecraft doesn't even cost that much, but just being able to play Minecraft for free is insane, or at least it was for me at the time. I'm still trying to do a series on Minecraft now. I have no idea how relevant Minecraft still is. I know there's still a fan base out there, so. Wait, what? What is that? Did they actually add a new location? I swear, I, I might have watched the video and I didn't even realize. What is this? I heard about this, the collector. Oops. Is this a bomb? This is interesting. I guess there is rifts in this area now. I didn't even know. Well, that's fr it's free XP if you haven't searched up here yet. I guess I'll just mark it on the map. So apparently the collector is now on the map. Or at least the like collector's location. I hear they might. I hear they might also be bringing back um, snobby shores, which is definitely one of my favorite locations to land at. <laughs> That's probably the worst landing I've ever had. It only took like two damage. So I don't think there's any special items at really any of the new areas. They might have a challenge that you have to do something at the collector's area, like destroy cases or something eventually though. Because that's, you know, they always try to Im implement their new areas into the game somehow. I do remember, even before they had the rest, there's this really good jump spot that can get you a lot of distance if you have boost up by Caddy Corner. Like, this is a really good map for getting distance if you just keep going back to that one jump. So when people ask me how I level up fast without buying tiers, it's mostly just because I play bot lobbies and I complete punch cards. That's what they're wondering.
So I'll definitely be able to get to 200,000 meters this stream. I might, I'm really hoping I can finish this card because honestly I just don't like playing Tilted Taxis that much. Mostly just because I know there's better punch cards to be completing, but since I do want to try to complete them all, this is literally what you have to do to be able to complete it. I'm definitely glad I started this stream though because this is the best stream I've had in a long time, so. One of the things I haven't considered is whether or not taking off face cam in Streamlabs will help any any like any bit on the lag. So I don't know if you're trying to complete the card yourself, but the jump is right on this hill, and if you boost while going off of it, you can get a lot of distance. This is probably one of the best maps j for getting this punch card done because you can get a solid like one to two hundred meters just from that jump. In fact, I guess I don't even really need to mention it. I guess you can see it on stream. <laughs> I just stole this guy's coins for no reason. Actually, what I've been considering doing now that I think about your comment again, because I'm, I'm wondering, is Fall Guys really worth the hype? Because it's... I. I, from what I've seen, it definitely tends to everyone's, like, gamer sense in the way that anyone can pick up Fall Guys and feel confident enough to play it. Like, because it has a certain enough, a certain, like, amount of randomness to it where you can, um, play the game and feel like anyone can win. But there's also a point where skilled players get angry because <laughs> there's certain, like, maps, uh, like DoorDash or something, where it's literally just completely random and your chances of getting through are basically just staying at the back or getting lucky enough to run through the doors. Like, it's, it's interesting how the strategies are in that game. I'd like to try it eventually if I can maybe get a cracked version or something. But, uh, you know... I guess, I've never considered it, um, but I do have a PayPal where people can donate, and I, pretty much any donation they get will either go towards anything I would do on stream, or if I got like a crazy amount of money for some reason, I'd probably donate most of it, because again, there are people that actually need money significantly, especially in times like this, so... Uh, I know I can ready up. I'm probably just going to return to the lobby each match just so I can see how much of the punch card I've completed. I know it kind of goes against the point of trying to complete it as quickly as possible, but it makes me feel a little bit better about playing these matches. Okay. Come on, 170. Ooh, 175. Not too bad. Okay, so we only need about roughly 30, 30 like 85,000 I think, 85,000 XP. How many X do you get after? Okay, so, when you play a full match like I do, that match ended pretty quickly, so I got about 5,000. Um, you can get around five to 10,000 per match, so no matter how you slice it, it's going to take you a few hours to complete this punch card of just playing this straight mode, because this is the quickest way that I know to complete this. So, literally just killing yourself and driving around with a passenger the entire match, five to 10,000. Obviously, 10,000 is better than 5, but usually the match will be twice as long, so either way you slice it, about 4 hours. And even 4 hours is pretty conservative, considering I've already completed like 4 punches on the punch card. Ooh. 
If I don't finish on stream, I'm definitely going to finish the punch card after the stream. So I'm definitely not going to be doing another <laughs> Tilted Taxi stream. If I do, do another stream, it'll probably be on another bot lobby thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to follow you up. Free real estate. It's interesting to think this is what it means to be a tryhard at Fortnite. <laughs> Just playing tilted taxis. If I do all of these punch cards, I should be able to reasonably um, get to 220 if I complete all the daily challenges and play bot lobbies, even if I don't play all day every day. Like, 220 isn't the hardest thing to complete, so we're only at week 2 and I'm about 50, and I play at least every day for about a few hours, like 2 to 3. The best thing I think you can do for your XP, if that's really what you want to do, like you want to unlock the silver, gold, and colored rainbow variants of the skins, is if you know how the boosted XP works, like you get that gold bar, you generally don't want that, or at least you shouldn't, you should really try not to miss more than one day, because after that you start getting less XP than you would if you normally logged on. Because I'm pretty sure the first day you miss they just give you the 50,000, but after that it's like some amount less, I don't know if you can get more than that. So always just try to log on every day, try to complete the punch cards, and that's your best bet. Obviously try to complete the weekly challenges. Any Anything that gives you XP, really, is going to benefit you. Anything that's a challenge you want to complete. The punch cards technically aren't a challenge, but I think they are. As long as you... Those three things are really what's going to get you to level 220 before the season ends. I honestly shouldn't have a problem, because I think if you complete all of the punch cards, that's worth like 2 million XP or something. Or at least it's worth a lot of XP. <laughs> Oof. I'm not watching where I'm driving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Distraction. <laughs> no, that, that was a serious collision. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. Quarantine. <laughs> Serpentine, serpentine. Oh man. What a rush of adrenaline. Oh, crud. I didn't realize he shot off my tire. Eventually, this thing is probably just gonna explode regardless. <laughs> I've never tried really driving with the tire on fire, so this ought to be interesting. Man, it is really hard to steer with it like this. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is uh... Yeah, I'm gonna blow up regardless. What I think is really interesting is that you can kill someone and then steal their cab and their passenger and complete their quest. I'll go for it, but I don't think I can make it. The tire's gonna blow. Oof. It's probably the dankest strategy is just shoot someone's tire, eventually they will explode. Okay. Pick this guy up quick and we can head to the doghouse for the wrist. Sick, sick jumps. Now that's some serious distance. <laughs> I didn't even notice that the horns sound like different pitches. I think I know when I'm holding a good stream because after talking enough my throat gets or oh god my throat gets a bit sore but that's how you know I guess right I think that's enough to hit it I'm not exactly sure <laughs> go for it <laughs> go for distance it, um a word of advice if your taxi is flipping while you're boosting you're not pressing the circle button early enough. 
Like, make sure your bar is full before you go in, and then, uh, try to hold the circle button. There's another rift right here if you want to give it another try. Yeah, just from going out of the rifts, you can get a solid two to three hundred meters. <laughs> Somehow you don't take any fall damage, too. I mean, I'm sure the towers are rubber, but there's no way they bounce that much. Why did I not take any damage from that hit? I just realized that there are fishing spots. I don't actually think you can fish in this game mode though. <laughs> I can definitely <laughs> I definitely feel if you just ran someone over with a honking freight of taxi, they'd definitely be triggered. <laughs> Yeah, so you notice this is somewhat of a longer match. This is a match where you're more likely to get um, 10,000 experience because it's lasting about twice as long, whereas a quick match will get you about five. But either way, you're going to be playing roughly about the same time. So again, I, I repeat myself, but regardless of what you do, it's going to take you roughly four hours if you're just starting the card to complete this, just by playing straight tilted taxis. But at least once you complete the punch card, you don't even have to worry about it anymore. It's just complete for the rest of the season. And you don't have to play this monstrosity of a game mode unless you actually want to. This guy's trying to hit me from a thousand meters away. Thinks he's a uh, booga or something. Oof. Oof. <laughs> One thing I can definitely say though is that it's um, it's nice to be able to. Oof. It's nice to be able to actually see some of the better graphics in the game. <laughs> Well, on PS4 than when I play PC just because I can load better graphics. Also, if you have any daily challenges for just dealing damage or getting eliminations, I suppose you could complete that by running people over too. In addition to completing your, um, your wheelman punch card. If, if someone does go back and watch this stream, just clip the dankest, like, honking clip from Fortnite. Actually, I could probably do it myself, because just recently I've been getting into finally editing my videos. Just so I can make any video I want, like if there's something inappropriate or something, I can just edit it out. So, you know, enjoys that. That's nice to know. <laughs> So I can basically play a video on any game. I, it's still going to tend to stay away from inappropriate games because I want anybody to be able to watch my streams, but, you know. <laughs> Did he just try to snipe me? Wait, I'm going for some serious airtime right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I got caught in the water. It's going at three miles per hour.
It's always easiest when you spawn right next to a passenger. Okay, yeah, so we should get about 10,000 experience this match. It's a pretty long match. If I'm being completely honest, last season I didn't even try to complete the punch cards at all just because I wasn't able to play the game as much. I, literally, in the last hour of season 3, I just. And still here, by the way. Bro, you're, you're definitely getting number one for <laughs> top viewer on my streams. I don't think anyone has lasted this long on a stream. It's going for like four hours now. Bro, but, um, last season. I got the 160 for the max, um, I think it's not the Ultima Knight, but the other one I showed you that goes well with the Hulk Buster style. I literally just barely maxed out that skin before the season ended, one hour before it ended. I was so lucky. <laughs> so, obviously, once you hit 220, you don't have to be a triad anymore. You can just play the game to enjoy the game with your friends or however you want to play Fortnite. Because after 2.20, they're not going to make you work for anything else. They do always want to give you a reason to keep playing the game, though, which is what the Enlightened Skins are about. Yeet. <laughs> what? How did that do no damage? Okay, so that, I should be around 80,000 something definitely this match, maybe even 90 if I'm lucky. I'm getting pretty close to completing this. Okay, let's have a look, see. Okay, 185, so about 125. Thanks, by the way, I got XP and I appreciate your help. Yeah, so you're gonna get XP, especially if you're completing your um daily, like, quick challenges MLG for killing... <laughs> for killing people, that's gonna help a lot, but, um... So, obviously, you're gonna get the 15,000 for these if you do it. The XP from the actual game mode itself, unfortunately, 500 is going to do you, like, nothing, pretty much. I'm pretty sure even if you do, like, be a tryhard and you win the mode, you still barely get any XP. So, the whole point of completing Wheelman is you're going to get the 15,000 for each of these slots. So, I'd, you'll notice you should have gotten about 10,000 that match, roughly. I was at 175, now I'm at 185, so I luckily got 10,000 that match. So, I only need about one. 25 so at most I need to play roughly um let's see seven more matches assuming I get 10,000 in all of them so this stream should go for about another hour an hour and a half So I don't know if you're trying to get to 220, but this should definitely help you if you go for all the punch cards. If you don't know what all the punch cards are, I highly suggest looking up a tutorial on YouTube just when to see. You, gotta go. you see, that's the thing. Um, <laughs> I I don't know exactly. Like I'll, I'll I'll be called when I have to go. Usually my dog starts barking. That's when I know I have to go because I have to help out with some stuff. But, like, I, I can probably hold this stream at least until I finish this punch card, but in, unless they show up early, I, I'll, I'll just have to leave, but I should at least have until 1 o'clock, I imagine.
text me on the gram when you gotta go. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard somebody call it the gram before. Um, I mean, you'll you'll know when I have to go because the stream will end. But I, I guess I can text you too if you want. I might even consider installing the Instagram app because after, since I got my PC fixed recently, now I have a lot more space. Or I guess not a lot more, but I have more space on my device. So I could probably install the Instagram app and keep up with you on there if you really wanted. I try to keep up with my viewers and stuff because they mean a lot to me. But but again, like once I hit a high amount of subs, I'm not gonna be able to interact with everyone, unfortunately. So I'm, you know, I'm just trying to keep it the best I can while it's still early on. So I, I don't know exactly <laughs> I don't know how much exactly you enjoy tilted taxis, but I hope you're at least having fun. Me personally I think this mode is okay. So it looks like I'll probably be able to get about 5,000 this match, it'll probably be one of the shorter matches. Regardless, it should take about an hour at least to finish this punch card off. Also, after I end this stream, again, you can continue to do this uh, by yourself or with friends or whatever you want if you want to complete the punch card. You should be at least about halfway done, I think, maybe by the end of the stream. If you can hit 100,000, that'll definitely help you out. Because, again, if you get like 10,000 per match, it's only going to take you about 10 matches. Once you get from 100,000 to 250,000, that's the one that's really going to take a lot of your time. Because just going from 50 to 100 takes like 5 matches, so this one takes like 25 matches. Which is why I made sure to complete the other parts of the punch card before I started the stream, because I knew this one was just going to take a long time. Oh boy. <laughs> I survived with like two health. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we actually almost in first? I honestly feel bad for anyone that any teammates that we're playing with that are actually trying to win the game because just driving around on, in the match definitely isn't helping that. Which is why I try to play um, no fill when I do this by myself just so I'm not irritating my teammates if they're actually trying. Also, um, you may or may not know there's a punch card for getting victory royales in different modes. This, I don't think this technically counts as a limited time mode, even though it is. So if you want to get that one, you'll have to play another limited time mode when it comes out and get a victory royale, and you can complete that punch card for 15,000 XP. I'm pretty sure every punch is worth 15,000 XP. Also, the uh, XP coins, I don't know if you know those exist. Um, there was a glitch, but I think they, <laughs> I think they fixed it this season. And now you can collect as many in a match as you want. I actually made a video called, oh boy, I called, are they gonna fix this? And I think they actually did, so, pretty happy about that. I mean, I haven't got to a point where I'll find out if it's glitched, but I'll definitely make a video on it if it's still glitched, because that is very annoying. You missed me. You guys hit me for pinpricks.
Ja. <lacht> I think of all the fairs in this game. I will always be here, okay? <laughs> Seriously? Um, I mean, as long as you leave a... I'm usually gonna post videos, so as long as you leave a comment on a video, I always try to respond to all my comments at the end or start of the day. So, I'll, I'll know if you're there by either <laughs> always leaving a like on the video or always leaving a comment. I can always respond to you with a question or just saying, like, nice fit or something. I can always give you a heart and you'll know I've seen it, so... I, I would appreciate that, but again, if you're busy in the day or something, you don't always have to watch my videos. It's just greatly appreciated. <laughs> oh my. Sometimes people get some serious air. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, drifting has definitely got to be the best part of this mode. It reminds me back when I used to play Gran Turismo. Which is the reference I always come up with. Like, when people ask me personally, because I've played this mode, like, um, at least 50 times by now, what what is the Tilted Taxis like? I'll always compare it to Gran Turismo, because it's just like your generic racing game controls, honestly. It's, it's got the boosting, it's got some, like, timed match stuff. It, it's, it's fun, you know? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I took him head on! <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, I sent him flying. Ooh. Alright, so this last, uh, this match is lasting a bit longer. It's possible we might be able to get 10,000. It's really just get as much as you can per match, I suppose. Pretty much as long as you're driving, it really doesn't matter what you do in the match, and you have a passenger. Oh, and before I forget, um, I, I don't know if my, uh, like, skin styles or anything helped you with your decision, but Hulkbusters and the, like, the, just the Hulk Smashers pickaxe in general is definitely an exclusive one, so I, I can definitely understand why that would be one of the more considerable pickaxes to buy. Like, if I were to choose any pickaxes to buy from the item shop, and I had the V-Bucks, that would probably be the one, just because they're exclusive and they have their own original, um, animation. Also, I don't usually like dual-wheeled pickaxes, but those are definitely my favorite. Also, something I noticed this season that's very irritating is that there's this thing where if you use Thor and Mjolnir, which is his pickaxe, there's a, literally a one second delay in between him pulling out his pickaxe and being able to swing it. And that differs from every single pickaxe in the game. So it's really a question of do you want to look cool or do you want to be pro and use a good pickaxe? Because if you're being a tryhard, you just can't use Thor's pickaxe, because the delay in between pulling it out and actually being able to use it is ridiculous. I have no clue if they fixed it. I mean, you can definitely tell if they have, because the one second delay is just ridiculous. Especially if you're trying to take somebody's wall, and you're still busy pulling out your pickaxe, and they just kill you, you're going to be very triggered. <laughs> Definitely the most fun I've had playing Fortnite in quite a while. <laughs> I mean, because I play Brawl Stars 2 and like people will invite me every now and then and I don't, the thing is I just don't generally play with other people because I'm, I guess you could say I'm kind of a lone wolf in that fact that I like to be like self-reliable and being able to complete stuff and challenges and like, I just feel bad if I can't help somebody win, or they're just not as great as they'd like to be and we lose a lot, you know? Like, it's rough sometimes. 
but every now and then I'll indulge my, <laughs> my viewers or subscribers or just people on my friends list and I'll just let them play with me. Because again, it's not like I'm the best or anything, but you know, it's always fun every now and then. Beeping yeah. is funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, again, it, it's definitely fun because you don't catch most people actually doing in match because it's hard to drive and do it at the same time. Sometimes when I'm just beeping, I'll accidentally drive off the side of a cliff. Uh, okay. Let me, let's have a look, see. Okay. After this next match, I'm really hoping I'm at 200,000 because that only means I'm going to need about five more matches and then I can end the stream and I'll be done. So I'll, I'll message you on the quote unquote gram before I end the stream and you can just tell me anything you want. But should be another hour and then I'll just... Uh, I mean, I'll probably keep playing Fortnite, but I'll be playing with my own second account doing bot lobbies so you can join me in that if you really wanted to and that could help you get XP a lot faster because obviously bots play like bots <laughs> so it, it's up to you I, I'll try to let anyone join who wants to so my second account is um doodly2 but my um official f second level 1 account that I always keep level 1 is called mumbo guy I don't know if any of that information is relevant but um if you really want to look, I have a stream that I made, uh, uh, I think it was a week ago, yeah, about a week ago, which shows you my second account, because it's called, like, Bot Lobbies with Subscribers or something. I okay, didn't actually... Okay, and that is all the time on Instagram, well, right? Can you DM me it all on Instagram, please? Yeah, I, I can, uh, direct message you. Um, I guess I could just tell you whenever I'm logging into Fortnite, because I don't know if you play Brawl Stars or any other games like that. I mean, I play really any game there is as long as someone suggests it. I, I can't always promise I'll finish a game or continue to play a game, but I'll always give a game a try. Like, um, someone okay. requested that I play Rogue Knights, and he's a good friend of mine, so I'm going to probably do that tomorrow. I, <laughs> again, I'm probably not going to go try it or anything, but, you know, it, it should be interesting. He's, he's a good friend, he usually recommends pretty good games. If it's just a, like a cookie clicker game, which is like a, just a point and click, it, it should be interesting. <laughs> um. <laughs> that has got to be, the wall has got to be the dankest emote in the game. Probably even danker than T-Pose, it's just so... <laughs> I just can't imagine, it. like, uh, nobody's ever killed me and done that emote, but I can't imagine how it would feel to die to someone to just have them do that. It's just so dank. Uh. <laughs> Eat. I think about six stories up is the height where you start dying from fall damage. I'm not 100% sure, but I think 6 is a pretty safe bet. <laughs> I stole your passenger. Uh, there, sh there should usually always... There, the passengers always spawn around in the name location, so it shouldn't be too hard to get one. Um, again, hopefully you'll be able to complete this in no time. So for people that are wondering, again, for anyone that watches the stream in the future, which I doubt, but anyway, if they do, if you're wondering when I generally play Fortnite, it's going to be from right now to um, roughly 9 p.m. is a pretty safe bet if you want to find me on Fortnite, because in the morning I play Brawl Stars and I record a video, generally. That's my schedule. I also have to help out around the house sometimes, so that takes up some time, you never know. But you can generally find me around this time to late 9. So I don't remember if, if it was you who said you're in uh, India, I think. But I, I don't know if the like time is different there or anything, but... Whatever time it is for you now, 9 hours after that, is when I'm like from Eastern Time Standard... From 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. is a good time to find me on Fortnite. And again, I can, I guess I can DM you now. I've never used the Instagram before, but it's even weird for me to say the Instagram. Yeah, okay, so your time probably isn't crazy different than mine. You're probably like, um, 
an an hour earlier or so than me. It's probably like um ten o'clock for you, maybe. I don't know. So for you personally, it'd probably be from like ten to seven, maybe. That might be more convenient for you. But. Like, I don't know. I'm sure you need to sleep at some point, too. Because you'll definitely never find me on Fortnite after Eastern Time from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Unless I am really trying to hit, like, a certain level before the season ends. Because that's when I go full triard. But I have no doubt in my mind I'll be able to easily reach 220 this season. If I complete all the punch cards, daily challenges, or at least the, like, quick challenges that are worth 10,000. And the, um weekly challenges it really shouldn't be too hard it should be a reasonably enough xp in addition to bot lobbies because again when i play bot lobbies i generally always get victory royales because unless you're doing like a specific challenge you're generally not gonna die in a bot lobby So an interesting debate in my mind is whether or not it's worth it to buy tiers because people who buy tiers, and some people don't know this yet, but going from tier 100 to 200 I think is less XP than from like 90 to 100 because it increases each level throughout 1 through 100 and then it goes back down from 100 to 200 and slowly increases again. So it's actually easier to level up once you hit 100 than going from 99 to 100 by I think like 30,000 XP and most people don't know that but what I think is <laughs> what I think is interesting is that um, people who buy tiers generally are gonna have it easier like they have people who buy all of the season tiers have to play like half as much as someone who doesn't but that costs like a hundred dollars and a lot of people definitely don't have a hundred dollars to just spend on Fortnite and especially if you play the game enough already where you're gonna unlock it regardless because uh, Tabor Hill, which again is a really good Fortnite YouTuber who doesn't clickbait, he bought all the tiers and he even admits that he hates doing it because it just takes away a, a part of the a Fortnite experience, which is leveling up and unlocking certain items. Okay, so I, I should at least be able to hit 200,000 XP this match. Should be done around one o'clock, roughly. In fact, I'll probably I'll probably just leave the match right when I hit the punch card, like it shows up on screen. I have to say, this is probably one of the most involved punch cards in the entire game, because this is the one specific thing that you have to do for hours and able to get it. If I honestly had to choose any punch card to remove from Fortnite and replace with something else, this would definitely be the one because, I don't know, it's just very dank. You, but if you don't do it, you're missing out on potentially like uh, 75,000 XP, I think. And that's like a whole level, at least. Okay, so that was a pretty good match. Let's see how we did. Also, I'm not sure if Xbox has the same glitch, but sometimes um, when you just finish the match, you have to open the settings menu before you can actually press the X button to continue to leave the match. So I don't know if that's just a console thing or a PS4 thing, but you know it's interesting. They still haven't fixed that one quite yet. There's also a glitch on PC where if you're a controller player, if you have the mouse on screen, it, it makes the controls weird. Ooh, just barely didn't hit 2,000. Okay, well, again, I'm still very close. So I'm about the distance from the second to third, no, the third to fourth, because that was about 50,000. So that, that only took me about an hour, so 
about 115 I should be done so I'm gonna BRB real quick it should be faster than last time though so I'll just join the match Okay, I'm back. So we should be in about the home stretch, or at least I am. <laughs> oh, did you build this whole thing? Oh, how did I miss that? It's very high. This is quite the vantage point to get to the sick taxi jumps. Alley oop. Go for a sick 180, <laughs> 360, 420 no scope. Oh sweet, I spawned right in front of it. I'm gonna get a passenger and ramp off of that thing. Oh! Going for height. No, he's my passenger. You can't have him. Oh, I think he's gonna explode. Oh, he's really close to. I gotta get this guy. <laughs> Meme. <laughs> How did I drive over him? Okay, I'm gonna get him this time for sure. Boom! I'm wondering if he has just as much health as I have. This is probably a terrible idea. Let me let me just get, look quick. Let me just. <laughs> this is so stupid. Is he even in the taxi anymore? I have to wonder, was there even somebody in that taxi? Am I literally just going crazy? Oh yeah, you can definitely get some distance from that jump. It says about a hundred meters. So I think you get your basic amount of mats back once you, um, die at least. Yeah, you have like a certain amount of mats that you just spawn with, it looks like. I guess another thing you can do, if you press the um, boost button too late and you start um, like flipping down, is you can just spam press it instead of holding it. I guess that kind of works too.
But I do not have enough health. Literally one shot will be enough to take out this entire taxi. <sighs> Let's go for gold. <laughs> Oof, they blew up the entire building. Yee! Oh, I missed him entirely. Oh, I'm very dead. Well, there goes that building. Yeah, yeah, that ramp was definitely a good idea. You can get a lot of a lot of height off of that. I'm not personally a Marvel fan, but I do think a lot of the items this season are really cool. I think, I don't know if it's worth the time to build up to get a lot of jump distance from your taxi. I mean, I have no idea. It might be at the start of the match. But I don't, like, because again, if you're building a ramp, then you're not driving, so I have to, <laughs> I have to wonder if it's worth it or not. I just so happen to build a ramp on both sides here, so that's obviously really good. If you want to just keep going around and around, you can keep getting a lot of distance. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I don't know if the, any of the items actually like make your car drive faster. Like, um, the thing that I find interesting and kind of dank though is that um, if you try to do this with your friends, you have to make sure that they have their own vehicle with their own passenger because they have to be driving with a passenger. You can't be a passenger with a passenger because that would be an entirely different punch card, I guess. So unfortunately, you do have to pretty much do this on your own regardless. They, what I think is that they should have made this like um, one of those um, challenges where you can have up to four people doing it because, again, this one is just really involved. I think it's interesting that um, console players don't have the option to really turn down their settings. Like, because you know you hit 60 frames, so it really leads me to wonder, if you could turn down your settings in Fortnite console, I bet you could get, like, at least a decent 100 frames, you know? I mean, there's always the chance to add it in the future, but I, I doubt it. They probably have, like, some agreement. <laughs> oh my god. Did I, did I blow you up? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> um... I feel like they probably have some agreement. Like, I know, um, I think Sony bought 1% of Epic Games or something, so that they're always going to be getting those, like, exclusive Fortnite PS Plus packs, which I guess was a pretty smart, um, like, offer on their end, so, you know, it's interesting. So I think I'll have about maybe 2-5, two, 2-7 two, after this match. It's a pretty, pretty lengthy match. <laughs> Going for maximum overdrive. I don't think you get anything special for just um, 
finishing the punch cards in general, but the XP that it offers can be worth it in itself to be enough to get you to complete it. Because 75,000 XP in a few hours is probably better than you can get from doing the... Cause, um, at most, you can complete five quick challenges per match. That's 5,000 XP. So, in one match, you can get 15,000. So, reasonably, you can get um, the same amount you'd get for this punch card with three matches in a regular game just from completing quick challenges. So, so again, it's hard to say whether or not it's worth it unless you're just one of those people who really wants to complete all their punch cards. I do, so I, that's why I'm doing this, but I don't know. Uh, I think it'd be nice to be able to make a video saying that I completed all of them and just show them all off. So, that's that's my main reasoning for it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Perhaps I should have knocked first. I think all of the jumps I've used in this match are probably going to get me to about 10,000. Just because it's a lot more distance. This is definitely one of the longer matches though. So Hopefully I can be around 210 maybe by the end of this match. <laughs> I can't believe you can get hit by your own taxi if you grapple in front of it while it's driving fast. I think they, um, I was gonna say they blew up the ramp. I think they built one backwards though. I'll try out this one instead. Ooh, <laughs> whoa! I just got a sick ramp jump boost. <laughs> say that covered an easy 200 meters in one jump. I think you're doing. I've never actually tried driving the taxi off of a max height um, building before, so. <laughs> Hop in! <laughs> you gotta see this. We gotta go for maximum <laughs> overdrive. We're probably gonna fly into the storm. Oh my god. I wonder if we hit the <laughs> hit the gas. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, I thought that would kill us for sure. <laughs> well that didn't go quite as far as I thought, but I'd say that's gotta be like what, three hundred meters easy? So unfortunately I don't think um 
you being a passenger in my taxi actually counts for your um punch card, but you know that that surely was interesting. The highest jump I've probably ever gone off of that was actually built by a player. So people, because again, they don't give you a lot of mats in that mode, and people don't generally build up. So okay, I only need about forty thousand more. So. I, I think I should be able to finish this from around 115 to 130 and then I can end off the stream I'm actually really excited to just be able to play normal matches again I've just been sweating in these tilted taxi game modes for a while I've actually just won like one match of Tilted Taxi just to see if it counted as a LTM and it doesn't, which I've already said, but I think it's interesting. Also, I think it would have been maybe more interesting since, um, I, I know Rocket's like a back bling or something, but I think it'd be really cool if they had it so that if you had Rocket as the back bling, whenever you're in a vehicle, he just flies alongside it. That that might be broken, but I don't know. I don't think shooting Rocket actually counts as you taking damage, though, which is interesting. So yeah, trying to finish off this punch card is so definitely quite a bit of work. And still here. Indeed, indeed you are. I honestly can't thank you enough for sticking around this long. Like, it's almost been six hours. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what to say, but thank you so much. Because the viewers are definitely an inspiration to keep going. Because if, if I didn't have anyone viewing this, it'd literally just be me playing this for like six hours alone, <laughs> commenting on how dank this game mode is. And that's definitely not as fun as actually being able to interact with viewers. So th thanks for subscribing. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching the stream. Just a giant overall thank you. And uh, the biggest thank you, of course, is for offering to shout me out, because I don't beg for s subscriptions or anything, so <laughs> having someone else give me a shout out, it, it, it could just mean the world again. It's a shame you have to get out of your car to flip it over, but it, I guess it makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense because you shouldn't be able to flip a car that easily. <laughs> I don't know, Fortnite's crazy. Also, we've gotten this map, like, what, three times in a row now? If you go into the rift at full speed, you can actually get like an easy 500 meters though. It's probably like the easiest meters travel you'll ever get. I think I saw somebody else go into the rift as well. If they ha if you've never like been in a rift in a vehicle, it's definitely fun. Plus <laughs> you could probably psych some people out when they just hear honking coming out of the sky. <laughs> oh my god. Just broke this entire house. I think it'd be really... 
Oh, let's see. I started the stream at 8, and I believe you joined around 9, so... At least 4 hours, I'd say. And again, I don't think I've ever held a stream for more than... 6 at the most, so... You're already one of my top viewers, if not one of the longest stream viewers I've had, so... I, I don't know, man. Props to you. I, I mean, it's really people like you that I've decided to become a YouTuber for. Just, you know, any one day I can make just a little bit better with some weird comedy, or like the horn and the <laughs> Fortnite taxi cab. You know, just trying to make things interesting. Like, give me one second. Okay, I'm sorry, but it looks like I've ran out of time for this stream. I want to thank you a lot for tuning in. I'm going to end it now, and I I'll DM you later when I get back on. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll finish the punch card on my own. I'm very close. And just, uh, bye, I guess.